Welcome to BA Fashion at Brighton Met. This quick tutorial will help you to get the right equipment for professional pattern cutting. Start with pencils, rubbers, sharpeners and tape. You'll also need an industrial spool and spool case. We're not lending out any equipment this year due to COVID and cross-contamination, so make sure you've got your full kit every time you come to college. Pins and hand sewn needles are really important, so make sure you've got those in your kit box. Pattern Master, which has got these lovely curves on the outside and then a smaller one on the inside. So that's really good if you're cutting something like an armhole or the seat of a pan or a collar. Scissors. Make sure you've got scissors for fabric, paper, and to snip the end of your Another cotton. Another really useful tool is a quick and pick. This is designed to be able to catch each of the stitches to, if you've done something wrong, you need to unpick. Uh, it saves you time. I'd get a nice long handled one. You can get shorter ones, but they're not as comfortable to use. Um, measure. I'll give you vital to have. You can always wear it around your neck so you don't lose it in the studio. Okay. So this is a um, pattern not yeah, So I might want to notch each end of this dart and, and then I'll know where to sew it if it was in real fabric. So you can just see it's taken out a little section there. So this is a tracing wheel, I don't know if you can see. So you've got blades on the outside of this wheel here. Um, and what that is useful for is if you imagine you've got a pattern that you want to trace through, you can lay the one that you want to trace on top of blank paper and then you can make holes and indentations in the paper and then so when you take it off you can then trace around the dotted lines with your special. All equipment can be found on moreplan.com. or designsurgery.com.